morning guys happy saturday so today i'm very very excited um it's the 17th of november it's my bridal shower day so um i'm just here andrew just left to cape town because he's going to cape town for his last mba blog so i asked Bugala. Bugala is sharon's um nephew um to come help me for the weekend and today also my bridesmaids will be helping me to set up because we're actually just doing the deco ourselves and stuff like that no budget to pay for a wedding plan <laughs> i mean an event planner to do that um weddings are very expensive um so i'm excited and my makeup artist today is coming as well her name is mohadi the makeup artist i'll put the link in the below so you can check her on instagram and if you want to book her you can book her so some of the stuff this is my welcome sign so we're gonna set up this later and a bit of flowers and i've got like a box here it's a mess sorry and the id crew so i decided to buy this id crew instead of bridesmaid because i felt like every friend of mine is part of the id crew and they can wear this whether they're bridesmaids or not so yeah so literally i have the bridesmaids i mean this is for brides part of the decor this and some candles and other stuff here it's just lots and love and the misses um this we're gonna use it for um the balloons to blow up the balloon and yeah it's just a mess everywhere this is my bride to be sash and as i said this is where we're gonna do makeup i just set up here and there's a few things here and some underplays that we yeah and other stuff here so literally i have like a lot of stuff for deco because i love throwing parties so whoop, 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 whoop. i'll take you guys along hopefully and actually i'm waiting for i'm waiting for cindy to come through so let me tell you what happened to this dress i never thought i will have a dress and i'm not even really sure if it's gonna look good or not because we i did my first fitting yesterday cindy came to the house like 9 p.m sure and the dress was not exactly what i want and there's so much work to do she worked the whole night she told me like, this i won't sleep i'll work and this morning she came still i was not happy um she needed to change few things she had to actually even go and buy another fabric <laughs> she went to joe book to buy another fabric and she's working on the dress she says she'll come here before one so the makeup artist is coming and cindy's coming to bring the dress hopefully i like the dress because i didn't buy any backup dress <laughs> so if it doesn't turn out right i don't know what's gonna happen yeah so guys we are late are we on? Are we live? Yes. Guys, we are so late. This is my pre-wedding. Yes, I'm getting married. <laughs> and um, Cindy is here. She designed this dress. Everybody asked me about Cindy. Hi. That's Cindy. <laughs> the lighting is so bad. Yeah, no, it's not the best. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm worried about the hair more than the dress. Let's go of the balloons, yeah? Okay. Oh, we still do bright balloons. Yeah. yeah. 
It's Aldisha's Bridal Show. My name is Zinzi and I'm sure you would have seen me on some previous episodes of the vlog. Um, but I am here today to celebrate with my friend and just show you a few things. This is cereal. Bridal Shine. This is the lovely cake house. Janine is this cake. I'm vlogging. Welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> so, let me tell you about this one. She's been whiling out because she's so thirsty. And I mean, we're all thirsty. It's a very, very hot day in Joburg today. It is. This goes down in the books as the hottest day. And I haven't had a drink, nor have I eaten, but it's fine because we need to take these pictures and look cute. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh my God. How are you? How are you? <laughs> These are the magicians that are making all of this happen. <laughs> it's been so amazing. Can someone give me? Can someone come and give me a boomerang? I just a boomerang and we're done. Say hello. Hi guys, this is my bridal shower. We've been doing photo shoot more than eating. We're all hungry <laughs> and and everybody's angry at me. We hungry. We were late, but it's a beautiful day. I'm having fun. Thanks, baby, for it is us. a beautiful day. Okay, How amazing that does she look? Like the sunshine with your eyes. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what you're doing. I think it was you and then you do the YouTube. The YouTube. Yeah, and that's just the break a couple of times together. My morning I think. Yes, and the watching agency as well. I did the model as well. The other models. Yeah, yeah. I think that's how I met her. Again, I'm Zinzi. Um I met her t shirt through <coughs> So we met through my friend Serisha, who is with my best friend. And she had been talking about this amazing Alpisha, 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 Alpisha. Was she friends with Tulu first? Me, she met Tulu through me. She met Tulu through me. I'm sorry. Okay, how I know Aldeisha? Okay, I've known Aldeisha for 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. Okay. Uh, we met through promotions. Yeah. <laughs> our knockout. day. Oh yes. Well, we were doing telcom knockout. We met in the bus. We were off to Free State, and there was this girl that was just so talkative, and she obviously is the one that approached me because we are that different. She's the outspoken one, and the probably quiet one. So she approached me, started talking, and we exchanged numbers, and we've just been very happy that my friend is getting married yeah. to somebody that she loves and somebody that adores her. She yeah. deserves every single minute of, of, yeah. of the happiness yeah. that you are getting. So because I know the type of person that you are, and I know that she literally gives in whenever you know she she gives in, be it a friendship, relationship, whatever kind of um, relationship that you have with her, you will know that she actually does. Um, I'm ambitious friend. So this is how I met her this year. <laughs> I'll never forget. <laughs> I went into okay, so they had sent me money, right? And uh, the money was not reflecting in my account, so I decided to go to the bank. And then when I got to the bank, I found Aldeisha standing by the door. She was like, was she was working there, well dressed and all. And I was like, hi. And she said, hi. And then I asked her, um, where can I go? I need help. And, she, and then she showed me. So I went in and I did what I had to do. When I left, Aldeisha ran after me and she did this to me. <laughs> and then I turned and she's like, didn't you know my friend? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I did that. I was like, 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 I think for the past 10 years as well. Yeah, I was like, 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 I was
we fight, we do fight. <laughs> no relationship but, is perfect. Yeah, but yeah, and I'm so happy for you. Each word has to be related to a wedding, right? And then we're going to check each other's words. If it's not related to a wedding, it doesn't count. It's more like Scrabble. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Alcohol? No. <laughs> Audacia. Audacia is alcohol. Does anyone else have alcohol? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What are you saying, guys? So, She's, she's studying she's whatever she got. So her, the one she has is alcohol. Yeah, but I'm the one who goes with foundation. And no one else. So you alcohol. take up. Did you write any alcohol? Yeah. There's and no then, alcohol here. If there's no alcohol, it means that whatever whatever that person got, right. Yeah. Right. Right. So you write. Right. 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 Okay. Okay. So you start to so you get yeah. your anniversary of, from Dumi. Does anyone have anniversary? Yes, it's here. Yeah. No. Nah. So they don't, they don't who care is that? that? That's me. Okay, uh, it's, it's, so you can scratch yeah, that one. I have Zinzi, I have aircon. What? Aircon. Air conditioner. Air but a wedding it? doesn't necessarily mean there'll be an aircon. Exactly. There is, there is a garden wedding. There's an aircon. No, 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 no. But there's a wedding. Yeah, it's not a wedding thing. I don't know about your face. No, guys, I just feel like what kind of wedding? wedding okay, let's let's just vote. Like let's vote. Like let's vote. Let's vote. Let's vote. Who agrees? She's defending it because it's hers. No, you're lying. You're cheating. Okay, you're not winning. Sorry. Yeah, no one is agreeing with you. Maybe I'll lift my hand, but then we're going to win. Ask Kiss. Okay, well. She could be right, you know why? Yeah, but then she lost. When you're making decisions for your wedding, you're gonna ask, are there any aircon? We did, but we think, but it's not a common it's thing that is a like part of a wedding. wedding. You can go well, to a wedding. Well, that's, that's not, no, no. But I think your wedding didn't have aircon, didn't have aircon. Exactly, it's not uh, a wedding thing. When you plan like a that, wedding, yeah. you, don't, you don't put the budget for the aircon. Okay, we're already, we're already <laughs> over. Okay, then let's right. attend. Stella? Mokadi or Alta? Yeah. 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 Anyone else? Stella wrote out. Why? 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 Why?
Okay, now D. It's dance. Audition, road dance. That's nice. No one else has that. I'm getting a point. Yay! Timmy didn't write anything. Sorry. Diamond. You wrote diamond. Okay, you're 10. Okay, therefore, I hardly wrote the therefore. No one wrote Zeke, get a point. Hey. 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 She did, no, DJ. Oh, DJ. Hey. Oh, DJ. Hey. 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 No, the wedding dinner when you plan no, before. No, no, no. no, you guys are being like, no wedding specific. I, I want dinner. But you always have a wedding dinner. Yeah, it's a wedding. Sometimes you can have an afternoon wedding and then you can have dinner. Dinner, not wedding. Dinner, dinner. 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 Dinner, Okay, so we met, Aldesha and I met through a friend. We actually met here in Melrose. Yeah, we met here in Melrose. We met, I think about three years ago. Three years ago. I really, honestly, am happy for you. Um, no, I think that the audience this is the milestone. It's the beginning of your lifetime. It's going to get better. It's going to get bigger from here. So, yeah. That's about it. Thank you. Thank you, Tino. Can I say um, something? Yeah. Yeah. We, we, have, we have that coming up. Yeah. 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 Right at the end. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. okay, everyone. So, we have some uh, questions to answer. And we ask them to answer them so that based on what he thinks or how well he knows how they share. So we're going to ask Aldesha the same question and then we will talk about what Andrew said. And then networking. And and compare against what Aldesha said. So the first question was what is the one thing Isn't that to do with? I do I like cell phones. Yeah, like social media or cell phones. Or makeup. Or makeup. Yeah. Is that your final answer? Which one? Makeup. Which one is your answer? No, I did my cell phone. Your cell phone. I'm just saying, who was crazy? Who was pretty? Men. He knows I like that one so much. I'm always so much. I love green tea. I drink it every day. The next question was, what is the most prized possession? I don't know. Do you have a prized possession? Andrew's my best. What do you think? In my wardrobe, is it material or not? I read on the family. I must say, your house was a bottle. Oh, fuck, I like bottle water, but it's not my dry house. He is, he is. Exactly, he is my old friend. That's what I'm saying, what do you think he would say? So, number three, what is her favorite candy? Hmm? Your favorite candy? I fucking hate candy. Oh, he said none. She doesn't like candy. Oh, wow. wow! It's a mess. Finally, like on Tinder, like the one we met. <laughs> okay. You don't like candy. I'm not. Number 
13. If the bride could meet one famous person, who would it be? Oprah. He said Jamie and Nikki, you should couple. Yes, they're not famous! They're not famous! They are famous. They, they are. are. But then it's a different kind of situation. You should, I wish there was two sections there. <laughs> who would I meet the famous YouTuber? I'll say Katie and Jamie. Yeah. 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 Who would I meet the famous YouTuber? I'll say Casey and Jamie and Nikki. And then who, in terms of like the traditional famous person, you know what I mean? When you think of a famous person traditionally, you don't think of YouTubers yeah, even though they are yeah, famous. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah, meet Oprah. Exactly. I wanna literally, I wouldn't. That is I wanna meet Oprah, I wanna meet Obama. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Wow. Wow. On your level, yeah, on, on, on Very the level of your interest. Like, <laughs> they don't think too deep into these things. Yeah. Yeah. They were made two years ago. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Who's this? Who's paper is this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Precious, Precious is so controversial. <laughs> she is like so controversial. Yo. Why do you say yes? Queen of controversy. I was trying to talk to Lady The bride tried on 21 dresses before she se she selected one. Over, under, over. Twenty-one, yeah. more than twenty-one. Guys, I tried almost hundred dresses. That's what I'm. Hundred. Oh, 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 no, you guys, I thought you were gonna weak as fuck. No, but I'm More than twenty-one. I can count. Maybe you tried some without us. Yeah, I've been times. I've been times where I wish without you too. But I'm hundred percent sure more than twenty-one. I'm for real. Yeah, I'm hundred but not twenty-one. No, I tried more twenty-one. I can try more pictures. I am very. I don't think so. I'm indecisive as well. Oh, I'm like, I'm hey guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> so, so yeah, but I mean, I just feel like that's a, it's so nice to, to have a friend that's like the way you are and you seem to be so happy. And I'm very thankful. Um, advice? I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. What to do. I think like with, with, with marriage comes a lot of counseling, either professional or not. And I think you've done that with yourself. I feel like you've, you've done enough self introspection for you to know what you want to do. It. And I'm happy about that. I really think that we live in a world where people are not tolerant. I think my advice to anyone is tolerance. Be very impatient with things and people, and you don't listen to people, and it, it affects the relationships that we have. I can, I can only imagine marriage and knowing that you're going to be with someone for the rest of your life is quite serious. And I think that with tolerance and kindness and peace and thank you, those things go a long way. And I, I mean, I don't have any, you guys are married, some of you are married, and you guys will probably have much more to do. So I think being yourself and being happy and being kind and being nice, you've got an amazing partner. Hey, Andrew, we love you. Um, I think you have an amazing husband and you guys are with us. Okay, I don't know if it's good to be getting advice from somebody who's not married or involved in a relationship. Uh, but when I first met you and Andrew, uh, the same atmosphere that I walked into when I got into your house. And let that continue. Don't stop and don't get tired of whatever the effort that you put the first time I met you guys. So when I looked at you from a distance, like I really believed in it. Like you gave me hope that there's still love out there. There's a man who can love a woman and vice versa. You know what I mean? So above everything else, uh, you, you guys are an awesome couple. You're giving the rest of us hope that one day we also get the love that we desire. And I wish you nothing but the best and the blessings from God that to be upon your union through the days of your lives. <laughs> I like I was also on the verge of crying. I was like, oh my god, that was a nice one. That was a nice one. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Subscribe, tell them. Subscribe to our channel online. Anyway, so 
<laughs> okay, so my friends, um, show sure, wow. This is just the beginning of your lifetime with your soulmates. Um, guys, love lives here. Like, if you've never believed in love, and one person is just like, Hi guys, love, I mean the one. But I've got to understand that love lives here through Audacia and Andrew. They have been, I think I spent so much time with them and I just, like, there are things that I admire so much about them as a couple and it's, it's just so amazing to watch you guys together as, you know, like the bond that you guys have created. I mean, there's one thing that we, 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 we or oh, people miss out on and these are people that you know people that are outside of you know the, the friendship people that don't know exactly what happens people don't people just see audition and you online and they think you're okay no you know these are the people but there is a bond that these people have that only us as friends will get will, will get to understand or understand so much better so from me to you friend i want to say to you that keep on loving the love of your life um you're very you've been very tenacious to your husband you've been very patient loving kind generous but it's a vice versa thing and you know it's, it's just inspired me so much and I, I can just say that you know this is a, a beginning or a start to a lifetime with your partner and um, continue loving him continue respecting him um, continue honoring him as a man so okay and um, thank you so much for having me Everyone has said 
mostly of what's very important but for me from the skin the first thing I would say to you is put God first in every single aspect of your marriage life put God first um, and your career your career his well-being your well-being your finances everything of your marriage put God first because one thing I've learned is that being the Christian woman that I am is that the devil comes in many forms. I've seen the devil and sometimes he will come in forms that are disguised as love, as people who are concerned for you, but it's not the case all the time. You know? and, and you have to pray to be able to recognize that so that it doesn't affect your marriage. And the other thing I want to say is that, you know, when we find our soulmate, our best friend, we have a tendency of thinking that this is it, it's going to be easy, there won't be any problems. But the truth is there will be. There will be. If someone tells you it's going to be easy, they're lying to you. It's not going to be easy. And that's where what Cindy was saying about effort. You need to keep the effort going all the time. Put in the effort, never get to of that. And make sure you, you know, the same things you were doing, for example, to get angry in the beginning, you know, to get his attention, to make him fall in love with you. It's the same thing you should continue doing in your life. It shouldn't stop. So the sparks still need to be there. Even Andrew, he should continue doing the things that he was doing to get you. To make you fall in love with it. It should never end because if you plan on being with each other for the rest of your lives, that's a long time. You know, and the only way you're going to make it to the end is if you keep on doing these things that keep us for. And we look forward for when our children are playing together, when our children are talking about us, you know, and all the extra magical stuff together. Where do you guys start? Do I start on my left or right? Whatever makes you happy. Okay. okay. I just wanna first say thank you guys for coming. It means a lot to me. Presence is a presence. <laughs> I appreciate you all so much. But I wanna go like individually to thank you guys. Like this was like should I start on the right? Go to the left. when I was younger, I used to just want to befriend people based on their outer appearance. Yeah, you were lucky with her. Yeah, I was just like, oh, you really, I want to be your friend. Like but growing up, I realized that like, it's beyond just like the outside. It's all about the beauty inside. Because I believe that your precious did have a beautiful heart. Even if I was attracted to her because she was beautiful outside, we were not going to be friends at the time. And one thing for sure that I loved her over the years, the fact that she was, she's a God-fearing person. And I don't speak about this much. I'm also a God-fearing person. We have one thing in common. Precious, I'm not going to lie to you. The story that I wanted to tell you that if it wasn't Precious, I wouldn't have met Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like going out of a bad relationship and one thing for sure precious used to say, friend, let's pray for a man. You know sometimes you just think you're paying but nothing happens even to me talked about like she knows about my boyfriend and stuff like that. She knew how unlike I was in love and to me never judged me even if she's like Friend, even if every day you introduce me to a new boyfriend, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was like, that even was like, no, it's even when she, she, she got married, like, younger, like, she was 24 when she got married, but she never acted like, oh, I'm married, I can't hang out with a single person, but I love it. She was just like, uh, it's fine, introduce us to this. And I would introduce her, like, he's not the one, this one. <laughs> always said she was the kind of friend who always said let's pay for the one who needs your real man <laughs> <laughs> this is 
this thing of praying for men work. I don't know. And she we would fast. We should be like this week let's fast. Praises for you. And we would fast. And when I had a guy that she thought she was the one, but I knew in my heart that okay, whatever. And it didn't work out. Immediately when it didn't work out, Precious called me. She was the first person to call me when I say it's over. And I was from a very, very depressed, I got depressed and I was not happy in that relationship. Chris was like, friends, I've got something for you, don't worry, I'll get you a minute. <laughs> she was like, there's this thing called Tinder. <laughs> Tinder, what is Tinder? She'd be meet cool people there. Just go and...